All right, guys, we're going to do our BOSU squats. So if you guys have a BOSU ball or have access to one, um, two ways that you could do this. I don't like this one as much because it makes your feet go out like that, right, versus being flat. Um, and so it's not particularly good biomechanics here, right, because I'm sickling my legs out and that's going to translate up the kinetic chain. So you can do it that way and a lot of people do, but I don't like it as much. So you do what this says, the warning here, it says do not stand on this side. We're going to stand on this side, guys. If you guys have like those um, bathroom stickers that you put on your bathtub so you don't slip, maybe that's a good thing to put down on here so you guys don't slip off because these are very slippery, especially, especially when they're new. So I'm going to try not to kill myself on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the side of the, the uh, BOSU here, um, preferably maybe wearing shoes with a lot of traction, and um, I'll put all my weight on that foot. That way, see, I can balance here all day. So boom, and I put my foot in and then I center up, right? Now, when I do the squat, I don't want to get into this position. I don't want toes up. I want to be level or toes down. Now, if we're doing toes down, our knees can travel you know, further forward and we're not going to have uh, much tension in our patellar tendon. Um, but in a perfect world, we want to be flat the whole time. Now, when you get on the BOSU, don't be surprised if you have this going on, right? Your body's trying to figure this out. It's like, this is a really weird, unstable surface, and that's what you're getting out of it, is being on top of this unstable surface. So, when I come down, you might see this a lot, right? So take your time, right? If you have, you have two suspension points here, right? If you need to and you're going through this, you know, just take it nice and slow, right? Try to get used to it by coming here. If you feel like you are losing control, guys, put weight on your toes, pick a diagonal, right? So I'm gonna pin and cross. Now, again, I'm not wearing shoes and this is very slick, so I slid off more than I want to, but if you're wearing tennis shoes or something like that and you're not sliding around on here, then um, that dismount's gonna be much easier. So I'm gonna be here, pin, slide this leg in, boom. But eventually you're gonna get to this point, guys, where you find your center of gravity, See the BOSU is level, my legs are not freaking out, and that's probably about the time when you really kind of are um, outgrowing that particular exercise. But there's your guys' uh, BOSU squat, um, and that is the way that I would recommend mounting and dismounting a BOSU ball. Um, and again, if you guys are finding that you're getting on there and your shoes are slipping all over the place, um, you need to mitigate that, okay? Um, you need to be adding traction to it one way or the other, or you need to be wearing uh, shoes that are gonna give you traction on that surface, so. All right, so there you guys go. Bosu squats.